Hello again and welcome back to the workshop. Walter here. Last time we were together we were talking about planing against the grain using a Stanley number five. We modified the chip breaker so that we could get that real close to the front and good, get good tear out resistance playing with or against the grain. We did this nasty piece of poplar and we did some curly maple. But I want to show you how it works in a wood that behaves itself. So here we have some butternut. Okay, planes absolutely beautifully with the grain. It's almost as if there's nothing to resist it. We turn around 180 degrees. Now we're going against the grain. A little bit more resistance, but still tear out free. Okay, so <clears throat> Another weapon of choice are the bevel up planes. This is my Lee Nielsen 62 bevel up. It came with an A2 blade. I had Ron Hawk make a bunch of these replacement blades out of 01 steel. I like 01 steel better. So What is the benefit of a, of a bevel up or what's known as a low angle plane? Well, you have the ability to change the blades and change the cutting angle. What do I mean by that? Well, right now I slipped in the Ron Hawk blade. and it is sitting on a 12 degree wedge in the bed. It has a 25 degree primary bevel, which I hone as a pure 25 degrees. No secondary bevel, no tertiary bevel, no stropping, just honed 25 degrees. So, I put that in here, and I have the mouth right now set wide open. It cuts a thick, that feels like a two or three thousandth of an inch shaving with the grain, tear out free. Now, the reason for the adjustable mouth, as many of you know in block planes is to help in controlling tear out. So if we close that down to virtually nothing, maybe, a, and I shouldn't say virtually nothing, it's still, there's still a lot of light coming through there. Hold on, let me pull that in just a little more. What that does, it holds the wood fibers down. It holds them down in the front just before they come up to the blade and helps prevent tear out. Let's see how thin we can go. There we go. All right. So the lower angle slices through wood easier than a higher angle. But, if I take this plane, and let's say I didn't have that, that mouth closed, let's open it back up. Let's open it midway. Okay, the front is smooth now. What happens if I turn this around and I go against the grain? Wow, <laughs> I don't even need to do that again. OK, 
Can you see the tear out? It's as if it was planed with a rock. All right, how do we reduce that tear out? Now mind you, this is butternut. This is easy to plain wood. If I were to take that blade to this nasty poplar or curly maple, we'd have tear out all over. So the one thing we can do, like I said, is close that mouth up. Close that mouth up. Close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. Okay? As close as I can get it without touching that blade. Now I come back in. All right? Fine shaving, less tear out. But I'm still getting some. I can keep going at this and eventually get rid of most of that tear out. All right, we're gonna leave a little bit there. Let's see if we can't highlight it. Okay, take one fine shaving off of there. <coughs> and you can see where there's tear out. So now what happens If I change to a higher angle blade, remember I said this is honed at a pure 25 degrees. Took my A2 and I honed a 48 degree bevel on that. Place that in the plane. and you have an effective cutting angle of about 60 degrees. Which should eliminate most, if not all, tear out. There's still a little. I can feel it. But, I still have that mouth wide open. So what happens if I close that up? Close it up right tight. Much harder to push. Taking a pretty thick shaving. Let's see if we can't back that off. There we go. And that, my friends, should be tear out free. Okay? Look at that. Against the grain. But this was uh, butternut, right? Easy to plain wood, go with the grain, eliminate the process. How about that nasty piece of poplar? Remember we were planing that with the Stanley, with the grain, and against the grain? Well, we take this high angle blade in the 62, Smooth, tear out free. And that's with the grain. Wow, that's really nice. But if I turn it 180, you can feel the resistance, but it's tear out free. So this is why you hear people extolling the values and virtue of the, the Lee Nielsen 62 plane. You can swap a blade and solve a problem. Against the grain. See that? How thin that is? So that's that nasty poplar. 
And then we talked about the real life uses of it by planing the curly maple, which kind of goes in all directions. This would be as close to with the grain as possible. We were able to do that with the Stanley number five with the properly set chip breaker. Go back to the uh, earlier video and you'll see what was talking about plenty against the grain. So we have no problem with that. A little more advance. There we go. There we go. Smooth and tear out free. Alright. Curly maple. Perfectly smooth. Wow, it feels like glass. So, following the same premise, we turn it 180 degrees. Now we're going more against the grain than we were before. Harder to push. No terra. Okay. So this is just another tool in your box of tricks. What happens if we go the other way? Many times I've said, and people have also agreed, that if you had to have but one, one hand plane, could it be the Lee Nielsen 62? Well, first off, it would be a very sad day if all we could have is one hand plane, but if you could have a Lee Nielsen 62, with a couple of hock blades and the original Lee Nielsen blade, you can set yourself up for success in planing almost anything. Here we go. A little harder against the grain. If the wood is behaving, Nice clear wood, straight grain. Like I said before, you can plane that with a, a single blade plane, no chip breaker, all day long. And many people did. I mean, that's how the cathedrals and uh, town halls and all sorts of places were built. They were built with blocks of wood with a single with just a single blade in it, bevel down. They did have some that would bevel up, and they were mostly for planing end grain. The same thing would apply with your block plane. I have my original Lee Nielsen block plane blade, A2, I have that honed with a 48 degree bevel on it, in case I need it for something odd like curly maple. But I keep my hock blade in my 60 and a half, honed at a pure 25. But I wouldn't dare plane against the grain. It would just tear it out. But with the grain, even in this nasty poplar, it's fine. Okay. Well, let's say you don't know you're going against the grain and you're planing along. Let's see what would happen with a tightly set mouth. You're planing along and you can feel the resistance. You can feel it. 
but there's no tear out. No tear out. Smooth surface. Okay? But if I had a high angle in there, there's no doubt. I can take a little bit thicker shaving and no tear out. I hope that helps. High angle, home blade, and a bevel up plane like the Lee Nielsen 62, or a hock low angle, 25 degree, for wood that behaves itself. That's all for today. It's just a follow up to my other planing against the grain. If you have any other questions, shoot me a message. That's it for now. Walter out.